And welcome back. We have 2004 Mazda, or is it a 2005? I can't remember. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We have a Mazda 3 with the 2004 code and the 2009 code, and they're pretty much related. So we're gonna go ahead and pop the hood here and see what's going on. Now there is an engine cover that we're gonna have to take off, and luckily it comes off very easily. You just have to pop it right off. Now the two codes that we have are from a system that's designed to give you maximum power but at the same time miles per gallon. And the way this works is it kind of works like your throttle body where it has a butterfly plate that's inside of your intake manifold and that's all vacuum controlled. So there's a hose or a tube that's coming out of your manifold. If you follow it along here it's going to split into two and then it's going to take a turn here and go into both of these solenoids right here. So we're going to go ahead and test these solenoids before we go any further. One of the first tests that we're going to do is the click or the sound test. So I'm going to go ahead and take the cover off of the battery because we need to get access to it. And I'm pretty much going to run a jumper wire from the negative and the positive post of the battery to each of the solenoids. And we want to energize it and see if it clicks or makes a noise. Now, if it clicks, it doesn't necessarily mean that the part is working correctly, but it is a step in the right direction. And I do apologize if I have any crappy angles here where you can't see that well or if I'm not making things perfectly clear for you to understand. I did not intend to shoot this video so it was kind of like a last minute thing. And I just kind of went out there and just tried to get it done as fast as I can. And now that we have our jumper wires connected to one of the solenoids, we're going to go ahead and put the other end on the negative side of the battery. And once we touch the positive side, we should get a clicking sound out of the solenoid. And as you can hear, there's nothing going on. So this solenoid is completely dead. So we're going to go ahead and try the other solenoid. So it seems that this solenoid is also completely dead, so both of them are just done for. Now I wish I had a brand new one so I could go ahead and test it for you and show you exact- Well look at this, here goes a brand new one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and test it and you can listen to this so if you're testing your vehicle you know exactly what to listen for. So now that we've confirmed that the new solenoids do work, they do click at least, another test you could do is the vacuum test. So on this outer port or the outer nipple, dare I say, we're going to go ahead and connect the vacuum gauge and we're going to put some sort of vacuum on it to pretty much simulate what the car would be doing when it's uh, pulling vacuum through the intake manifold. So with the vacuum up, we're going to go ahead and again energize it and as you can see, it opens up the valve and it releases the vacuum. So I did that test on the other one and sure enough, the same exact results. They both work, both of the new ones work. And now we're gonna go ahead and perform the same exact vacuum test on the old solenoids. And once I energize them, as you can see, it does not relieve the pressure of the vacuum. So it is 100% confirmed that these solenoids are bad. And I feel like I keep saying solenoid, solenoid, solenoid. I feel like I'm gonna go crazy at the end of this video. Now there is one more simple test you could do which is basically back probe the connector as you can see I have two T pins coming out of it and the other end of my wires I have them connected to my test light. So if you put your key in your ignition and put it to the on position you don't have to start the car or anything like that. 
just in the on position your test light should light up if it doesn't light up just go ahead and try to wiggle your uh, t-pins around and just confirm that you are making good contact with the actual harness and once you turn the key off a few seconds later the light should turn off but I'm gonna go ahead and take it a step further and I'm gonna use my scanner to just pretty much uh, command that actuator or those solenoids to turn on and off and as you can see when I turn them on my test light turns on and when I turn it off my test light turns off so it's a hundred percent confirmed that there's nothing wrong with the wiring and everything is okay now luckily to replace this part it's very easy to get to there's only a few things in your way you're gonna have to remove this hose that's right here and as you just saw you just kind of press the blue tabs on the side and you pull up and that whole hose should come out of its way and there's only going to be four screws holding down the actual um, assembly as you can see it's a torx and they're pretty easy to get to but you definitely want to use a magnet as you're screwing them on just make sure you have your magnet sitting right there because it's very easy to drop under your screws and you're never going to find it so just uh, play it safe use a magnet and uh yeah just go ahead grab a new one and just kind of snake it in there you want to be nice and gentle with it you don't want to force it you don't want to break anything so just uh, take your time and eventually you'll get it in and put all of your uh, torque screws back in it to hold it down and start reconnecting everything. It's pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy. It's why I did not go too in depth on how to do it. And now as you can see, I got everything put back together. All I have to do is put the engine cover back on and also don't forget to put your battery cover back on. The final thing I'm going to do is go ahead and clear the check engine light. Um, now I wish I could do a follow up on this but unfortunately this is not my personal car it's a customer's car so I'm going to try to keep in touch with the person and hopefully uh, this did take care of the problem that there are no other problems within that system. Uh, if I do get a follow up I will let you guys know in the description. And that's pretty much it. So I hope the video helped you. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Patreon, you know, all that social media garbage. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're considering subscribing, don't forget to hit that notification bell. And like always, thanks for watching.